Question number seven, Julianne Genta. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transport. Can he confirm that a rail corridor in Auckland has the potential to carry 10 times as many people as a single lane of motorway and twice as many people as a dedicated busway? The Honourable Simon Bridges. Mr Speaker, no. Point of order. 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 Point of order, Julie Ann Genta. I seek leave to table this chart, which is from a report that is no longer available online, but it was specific to the Order. Auckland I just region. need to know who's prepared the chart. Is the Auckland Regional Transport Authority? Oh, listen, on the basis of the member's explanation that the information may now be hard to find, I will put the levers for the House to determine. Leave a sort to table that particular chart. Is there any objection? Yes, it's there, it's, there is objection. Supplementary questions? Supplementary question. Supplementary question. Julie and Genta. Given the much greater capacity of rail over motorway lanes, why has his government committed billions of dollars to up to 10 new motorway expansion projects and no new money to rail expansion projects? Speaker. The Honourable Simon Bridges. Oh, the, the member's just playing wrong. We've invested $4.2 billion in rail. Uh, we committed in principle to the CRL, albeit we've got to work through a uh, business case to ensure its success. Uh, there'll be further improvements, uh, but she's right on one thing. We also invest in roads because Aucklanders uh, and New Zealanders also want to see that considerable investment as well. Point of order. Oh, point of order, Julie and Gentle. I seek leave to table an NZTA report which shows there's no funding for new rail lines in the next 10 order, years, I but don't billions need on at least further, 10. Further, I just need to know whether the NZTA report is available on the internet. It's quite difficult to find. Oh. <laughs> no. The minister doesn't seem to be aware of it. Order. Order. Members can us get the assistance from the member if they really need it to find it. I'm not putting the lead. Further supplementary? Supplementary, supplementary question, Julianne Genta. So is the minister saying that he thinks Aucklanders and visitors to Auckland should be content, for example, to be stuck on the airport bus for another decade or two, which is stuck in traffic, rather than having a rapid transit link? The Honourable Simon Bridges. But, Mr Speaker, no, and that's why we're investing considerably in Auckland. That's why uh, uh, the New Zealand Transport Agency is working on route protection to ensure that there is high-capacity public transport uh, between the airport and the CBD. Of course, we're working on a plethora of pro projects all around uh, Auckland, as uh, my colleagues to the left of me uh, 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 say include uh, the Western Ring Route, uh, the Southern uh, and Northern Motorways, the Northern Busway, uh, and many more projects to come. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Julie and Genta. Would his government consider making a, ra a rail link to the airport a priority if it was named after Captain Cook? The Hon Honourable Simon Bridges. Well, Mr. Speaker, a really silly question. Uh, the, the, the truth of the matter is, is that the analysis showed from both Auckland Transport and the New Zealand Transport Agency a zero point six benefit cost ratio, as New Zealand's self-styled foremost uh, transport economist, I would have thought the member could realise order, that order, shows that order, there's other... Order. That answer will not help the order of the House. Question number eight.